So how are things? I can't complain. That's good. I thought you might be anxious, confused, upset. Those sound like complaints to me. I mean, I didn't say that's how I feel. I'm just trying to guess what you think I should be feeling. I mean, obviously, I met my goals and I'm still not starting. So, I mean, that's how normal people will feel, I think. Not me, though. I'm good. <clears throat> is this funny to you, MP? Nope. It's the farthest thing from it. Now, is this something that you want to ask me instead of just staring at me? You've been doing everything right up until this point. Don't start making the wrong kind of waves now. Nah, I'm, I'm really trying to be as respectful as I can, Othella. But I feel like I've been giving you the truth and you haven't been giving me... You've been giving me nothing from day one. I mean, from my first day with this team, I have done everything that you've asked. And you insisted that I follow your lead. And I did it, man. I did it. I understand. I didn't pay attention to all the off-course stuff that Phil and, and, and... I understand. Look, these kind of things happen. I'm not happy about it either. I'm not starting, man. Sit down. Let's talk about it. This is just the business, MP. I get that. I get the business part of it. But I'm really upset at the fact that you have me sitting here feeling like I'm doing something wrong when all I'm trying to do is help the team. You got people in the front office that can't come to a mutual, de mutual decision. We're supposed to be a team, man. Right? You're right. You're right. <sighs> I'm sorry. I read the room wrong. <sighs> I appreciate your apology. It's not like me to hold grudges, but we good. We good. Just do what Freddie asked for now. All right? I'm gonna see what I can do long term. I'm good. I can do it myself. I can make connections within the community myself. Thank you, though. Very well. Seems like we're on the same page. Anything else? Oh, I'm good, man. Be good, man. Be good. Okay. I'll see you around. Yeah. MP! Keep your head up. Your time's coming. I promise. Welcome to the Jackson Dallas Show, baby. And today we have a special guest. The man. The myth. The fan, the actor, the legend, Jake Duvall. <laughs> thanks for taking time away from battling mutant squids to join us, Jake. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Jay. But uh, the squids were last movie. This time I'm saving Prague from shape-shifting beetles. At least that's what they seem like at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same difference. <laughs> ah, not exactly. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Sure. On a scale of one to fire everybody right now. How mad are you with the fact that we just drafted MP when Shep was right there for the taking? I mean, Shep is built for this city. We all seen what happened at Hammond Park. Look, is Shep more athletic? Yes. Yes. Is Shep a dynamic player? Absolutely. He is. Was Shep the guy we should have drafted? Of course! No. Say what now? <laughs> Listen, Shep is going to give you highlights. I won't deny that. But I got to tell you, Jackson, MP is the real Deal. Every day, every play, this kid is locked in. He goes all out. <sighs> to make up for his lack of athleticism. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but while he's compensating, he's also elevating. And I mean the entire team. They are better with MP on the court. And, uh, you know, seriously, you'd know that if you watch the games. Yo, don't we got a movie to talk about? Uh -huh. Ah, what are you upset because MP clapped back at you on social? Uh -huh. You didn't think he had it in him, did you, J.E.? Come on, man, admit it. You got this kid pegged all wrong. I got him pegged exactly where he belongs. Way behind Shep. And I got you pegged exactly where you belong. Off the show! No offense, actually. You know, we just have a commercial break to go through, so. None take. I still love your movies, though. All right. We'll be back right after this. 
Hey. Come I, here. Were you looking to talk? Now. Okay, I'm coming over right now. Sit. Uh, yes, ma'am. Where would you like me to sit? Anywhere? Let me know. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm watching my dogs. <laughs> They're. <laughs> you know, Ricky did mention that earlier. Uh, how old is she? <laughs> they, dogs, plural. Sorry. The Basset Hounds and Vinny and Bjorn, they're fighting again as per usual. And then that agitates Frida. So now she went and she stole Agnes's squeaky because she's a chewer. She likes to chew. And now she's under the bed. But that's Ulf's spot. And so now Ulf's crammed cool, in there that, with Jonas. That, that sounds like a lot of dogs, but anything you got for me? Oh, yes. Uh, do you remember that little puff piece I was telling you about? I don't. It doesn't matter. So okay. I lined something up. All with right. You, with All right. John. Luck. Okay, he is perfect for this. He is nice. He's easy. He's helpful. He's just like my little baby. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, and he's going to make you look great. He's going to do it today. Once once I give him a call. Once because obviously call, it is I only like if you think I it's a good like idea. I feel like you gave him a call already. Yeah, did you or did you not? I just thought, I thought you think it was a good idea. It is a good idea. Obviously. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, do you always compare us to your dogs or is this something new? A new little hobby? Jonas is Ricky. And then Jenny's Mila. <laughs> okay. I'm Benny. And you're Bjorn. But you got a little bit of Frida in you. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, Frida so would. I would, <laughs> I would like to get some more information about this uh, meetup. And I will meet up with John. How's that sound? A true Bjorn. Yeah, you should. Oh, so we do. So good and so weak. Hey, MP, how are you? <laughs> My man, John. What's going on, man? <laughs> all right, all right. You chilling? Uh, duh, I'm chilling. I'm here doing all right. All huh? right. Hey, listen, you'll tell Ashley that I was here on time, right? Well, early, right, actually? Yeah, bro. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. You scared me, man. No, no everything's <laughs> fine. Everything's fine. She just, she scares me a little, though. Ashley. <laughs> Bro, she's a sweetheart, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, you know, I'm missing couples therapy because she said this was more important, so. Seriously? Yeah. Wait, hold on. You know we could just, like, reschedule. I can come no, back another no, time. No, no, Come you, on, Are you MP? sure? No, it's fine, MP. I, you know, there'll always be another therapy session, right? All right. Okay. Let's get started. So, you've had a little time now to get acclimated to your new team and your new city. How have you felt adapting to this new environment? Well, it's a big change, and I'm still figuring out my place here. Would you say that's because of you or external factors? Ooh, um, I say me. Yeah, 100%, I'd say me. You know, life is about adapting, John, as you may know as well. You know, the, the most successful people don't whine when things don't go their way. They simply figure out what they need to do to make things go their way. <laughs> you feel me on that one? Mm -hmm. And like, you can't control the outside factors, you know? You can only control how you deal with them. That's a good way of looking at it, but you know, any concern about how long it's taking you to adapt to your new city? Mm, nah, nah, I mean, that, that stuff takes time, you, you know? Um, if you're expecting things to go your way the minute you get into a situation, you're gonna be disappointed, flat out, you know? I feel great about where I am right now, and I'm looking forward to proving my worth to the city, you know, as time goes on. Okay, so we've been tiptoeing around this a little bit, so let's get into it. Uh -oh. Obviously, there are some people who thought that the team made a mistake drafting you. I mean, you did hear booze on draft night. Yeah, I did. But you've also gotten some support from some pretty prominent voices. Mm -hmm. Jake Duvall, for one, has been very vocal yes. about his appreciation for you. What does an endorsement like that mean? Ah, oh, man. You know, John, I can't even lie, man. It, it, it means the world to me. You know, an endorsement from Jake Duvall. The Jake Duvall. I mean, anytime anyone of that stature gives you a compliment, it means the world. He does have a lot of influence in this town. Exactly, right. But it's, it's so much more than that, you know? Like, Jake knows the game, man. That cat has been watching a lot of ball, you know what I'm saying? And he can see what I'm bringing to the game, you know? As well as the team. Um, we, we're talking hard work, um, dedication, and, and a, a genuine desire to make this city and this team the best that it can be. <laughs> okay then, last question. Uh -oh. 
Now that you're finding your footing on this team and with the fans, mm -hmm. if you look ahead to the end of the season, where do you see yourself and this team? Ooh, um, okay, how about this? Mm -hmm. I can either give you the same boring answer that everyone else <laughs> gives you, <laughs> or I could talk to you about where I see myself in this city a year from now. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think uh, your readers might find that a little bit more interesting. No, okay, sure, I can pivot. Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in this city? What's next for MP? Well, this, uh, this may not be my hometown, but this is my home now. <laughs> you see what I did there? Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just looking forward to having a positive impact on the lives of the people that live here. How so? Well, obviously delivering on that promise of uh, delivering a championship. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, that's everyone's goal. Uh, but I also plan on working off the court to improve and enhance the lives of everyone who lives in this city, basketball fan or not. You know what I'm saying? Because... Community is pretty big to me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I want to use my profile as well as my resources to help really make this community flourish. Well, thank you, MP. It's been great spending time with you. Likewise, man. Hey, now tell Ashley I said hello and uh, I'm sorry. For what, bro? <laughs> What's going on? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, check this out, John. Oh. Let's take this one day at a time, okay. all right? You'll get there, man. And uh, send the best to the missus, all right? Okay, we will do. Thanks, man. Brother. Okay. Have a seat. How you doing, coach? What? I said, how you doing, coach? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, how you doing, man? Oh, great. I'm great. What's going on, man? First time we met, you gave me a speech about Tribe being the greatest group of all time. This don't sound like Tribe. Well, I just don't want to be closed-minded and thought I'd try some new stuff out. All right. Expand my musical palette. How you digging that so far? I don't know yet. But uh, look, obviously I didn't ask you here to talk about music and uh, not one for speeches, so I'll, I'll just say uh, congrats. You're running with the starters next ah, time out. Stop playing with that. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, you've done everything right and then some. But you can't let up, though, Nana, all right? Nana, that is not an issue at all, coach. Oh, I can't wait to see my name on that board in the locker room, man. We're really excited for you, MP. You just keep doing what you're doing, and this is just the beginning. I got you, coach. <laughs> Let's go! Big news, big, big news. Rookie standout MP will be making his first appearance in the starting lineup tonight, quicker than many NBA insiders predicted, which begs the question, is this MP's I told you so moment? Stan, you've been hanging with JJ too long. <laughs> Rookie standout? Are you okay? All right, well, I'm guessing that you would not be calling this his I told you so moment then. I told you what? That's my president <laughs> of basketball operation is forcing me into the starting lineup so he doesn't look bad. Oh, wow. come on, Kendrick. That's not fair. Why not? Why not? We already know the hash and the little PR scheme to make MP and the front office look good. This could just be part of that. <sighs> that. That's a completely separate issue. I know their top assistant, Wayne Graves, really, really well from my time at Duke. He knows and everybody believe from me. Duke. He'd never join a staff where the front office dictates who starts. That's not how things are done over there, point blank. And I know, because I'm plugged in. Well, then are you ready to say right here, right now, this is his I told you so moment? Mm. I, I wouldn't go that far. Until MP proves he's better than Shep, he's mm. not in a position to say I told you so to anyone. That's what this drama is all about in the first place. Even J.J., even J.J. agrees with me. <laughs> MP hasn't proven anything. I, I, I didn't say that, Perk. I didn't say that. MP deserves to start. All I'm saying is he's got a long way to go before he makes fans in the city forget about Shep, who's had an excellent start to his career, too. Yes. Until he puts Shep in the rearview mirror, these comparisons will continue to haunt him. J.J., guess what? I'm actually proud of you. You got most of that right. Most of that. I have my moments. <laughs> and MP... 
I would love for you to prove me wrong, brother. Believe me, I got love for everyone in the association. That's definitely that's not, not true. true. Not true. But the lights are only going to get bigger and brighter from here. Can you handle it? I've got some big time doubts. Carry on. All right. Now, yeah. as we all know, this is our beloved rookie MP's first game in the starting lineup. Let's go. Yeah. You guys are one step ahead of me today. What's new, coach? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. MP, it's all you, kid. Rally the troops. Thanks, coach. Hey, yeah, I know I'm not big on speeches, man, but it is an honor to be going to battle with y'all. And I know I'm going to do everything that I can do to help us get this done. All right? Let's bring it in. You're going to get a win on three. One, two, three, win! Real bad. Dude's fish food against starters. Barbecue chicken. Two piece, no season, and overcooked. Mm -hmm. No sauce, no napkins. It's dumb, Pook. What? It's not my fault you can't riff. <laughs> I can riff, but it takes a great artist to know how to edit. Oh, so you a great artist now. <laughs> they call me Shep Caso. No, they don't. If I said they call me Shep Caso, they call me Shep Caso. Okay. Thank you. Um, what is this? Ah, this. Is the city. Oh, no, no, no. I look like you're about to plan a heist or something. Exactly. What are y'all stealing? The hearts and minds of the city. Yo! Okay, sorry, do your speech. He has a whole thing planned. Oh, oh, whole... Here we go. <laughs> MP, there comes a time in every man's life where you must face an adversary that is so treacherous. You have to dig and call on reserves of strength that were un otherwise unknown to you. That day is today as you compete for the hearts and the minds of the people of this city! Of, of this city! <laughs> Wait, G guys, come I on, we just say it together. Everyone, sorry, Ricky, no, Ricky, time out, I didn't man. agree to any I'm of I'm sorry, this. I thought we were supposed to be, you know, winning these people over and not destroying them in battles. I don't know what you're talking Look, yeah, about. Yes, right? yes, yes, you're winning them over, but it is a battle. I mean, no. you, you don't have to crush them, yeah. No, but... you definitely don't want to crush them. Okay, fine, but you can't just wake up one morning and have an entire city love you. You've got a plot, you've got a scheme. No, don't say that out loud again. Okay, That's... well, you have to have a plan. We Gross. have a plan. Okay, yes, we've made some headway with the core fans of this group, and, and, and that's great. But we're just getting started, man. All right, all right, all right. I'm all ears. Yes. So what comes next? We want to help you make a difference in the community, but we need to do it strategically. So, okay. we broke the city up into four different districts. All right, now each district has its own unique personality and geographic boundaries. All right. You've got the fashion district, music district, business district, and of course the legendary Hammond Park. Now in each district, there's a key figure that you're gonna need to win over. We'll call this person a boss. Okay, it's like a video game then. I like a battle. Ricky, no, no battle. Okay, fine, look, you win over the bosses, the fans will follow. And you win over the bosses by helping their communities. Everybody wins. Okay, so who are these bosses then? Ashley, you're up. As some of you may know, I do have a background in fashion. Don't be modest. Ashley has a BFA from the City Fashion Institute. That's <clears throat> very prestigious. Okay, well, things did not work out in fashion for me, obviously. Uh, but I was lucky enough to spend time with Callaway Shields, wow. the most well-respected professor at CFI and the backbone of the city's fashion community. It's pretty cool. Now, you're Sorry. gonna have to up your rep as a fashion guy. Yes. Uh, before he'll probably be willing to have a meeting with you, but once you do, Ashley can set it up. Wait, wait, wait what's wrong with my fashion rep right now? <laughs> I think so I dress Look, fairly there's nice. There's nothing wrong, bro. I mean, you're just... You're a basketball star. I mean, you got to do a lot to stand out. Exactly. You know, Devin Booker hoops at Moss Point, and he just got a pair of those super exclusive uh, mm. player-only Kobe's, Kobe's that everyone wants. Mm. Yeah. You mm. could see if he could hook you up with something like that. Right, and then once it's you that easy. get a pair, make sure you show them off in fashion walks. Okay, yes. but just remember that this Great is all idea. about Callaway Shields. Actually, this this is where he's headquartered, right over here at, at uh, CFI. Uh, wh why? Why is this map so big? You specifically asked me to make this map ginormous. I did. Yeah. All right, Mila, you're up. Okay. As you know, the city has a thriving music scene. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen more shows here than I can even count. When you think of the music scene, who do you think of? Just off the top of your head. J. Cole. Thank you. Easy. Easy. Bingo. Excuse me. I thought this was my talking point. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. After you. My bad. There is no bigger tastemaker than J. Cole. All right. He does have a 93% likability rating among self-described hip-hop heads. Hey, best part? Dreamville Records is right there. 
I mean, this is an easy one, bro. You're a hooper. He's a hooper. Just mm-hmm. go over there and strike up a conversation. See what happens. All right, bet. <laughs> that was my idea. That it was, Mila. Who let him have a stick? I don't know. Okay, and now as for the final two districts. Talk first up, the legendary Hammond Park. Ooh, that's the Mecca right there. Yeah, well, as of right now, it's a no-go. Yeah, they hate your guts. Can't stand you. Hardcore Shep territory. Okay, I, I get it. The guy's been hooping here for years, but I'm not going to just lay down and die. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. But first, you got to build some support before you just step into that hornet's nest, which is exactly why we want you to, you know, make some inroads in these other communities first. All right, all right, fair enough, man. Cool. Now, let's talk business district. Mm. So in that district, the uh, key figure is Bobby Miles, right? Mm-hmm. Better known as Uncle Bobby. Yeah, the yes. most beloved figure in this entire city. He owns all the percolates. And half the other businesses. True. Yeah, he's got his hands in a little bit of everything. It seems. Yeah, I'm, dude does so much charity work, too. I mean, people just love this guy. Yeah, we need to start sure at the is. ground level here and prove to Uncle Bobby that you're the type of person who shares his passion for improving the community. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So what are y'all thinking? There is a hot dog vendor, Carl Beam, Mm -hmm. and Uncle Bobby has given him a little bit of seed money to try and open a brick and mortar, but he needs a lot more to get over the finish line. Right now, he only has a cart. So I'm just going to be giving him money? No. For me, that sounds like I'm cheating just now. No, 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 that's not. I want you to help him run a promotion. Next game day, if you hit a half-court shot during shoot-around, anyone who bought a hot dog that day can present their receipt to Carl next time they're at his cart and get a free hot dog. Ah. This type of publicity is worth so much more than any check. You and it shows that in. I care as well. Exactly. Which I like. I love hot dogs. We know. <laughs> it sounds like fun. I'm with it. Great. I set up a meeting with Carl so you can talk to him face to face and see how he thinks you can help get the word out. Let's do it. Now, I know that all of this might seem like a lot, but we'll be here to walk you through it. I mean, just follow our lead and you'll be fine. Yo, honestly, man, it, you guys put in a lot of work in on this, and uh, I really feel blessed to have you guys in my corner. Okay, sentimentality plays very well in the fashion district, but it's seen as a sign of weakness in the business <laughs> district. So let's just let's just be careful how you <laughs> deploy it. Yeah, I, I'll keep that in mind, Ashley. That's gross. Thank you. So what's the big emergency? Someone die or something? Your guess is as good as mine. So you don't know anything? No, I just got a text from Ricky saying to meet here as soon as possible. I got the same one. Ash, anything? Nope. And everything's clear on social, so it's not about anything happening online. No, of course. No, you have my word. All right. All right, thanks. Take care. You want to tell us what's going on, Rick? (sighs) Look, it's... It's Othello. He's trying to trade you. Excuse me? There's a lot of backstory here, but yeah, the bottom line is Othello's trying to trade you and we all need to talk strategy. Oh, I got plenty of time right now, Ricky. So how about you just backtrack a little bit and tell me exactly what's going on? Starting with how you know all that. I I can't tell you all that, man. Look, this is like some deep state office politics, but look, just trust me, the intel is solid. And that intel is? Othello feels Freddy's trying to replace him. We're talking about brand and marketing, Freddy? Yeah. Brandon Martin. Yo, bro, that is insane. Dude is not even a basketball guy. Yeah, you know that. I know that. But from Othello's perspective, he feels like Freddy is Phil's right-hand man, which means that he's in his ear, which means he can recommend firing him. You know what they think about each other? Not exactly best friends. (laughs) Yeah, that's putting it lightly. Look, right now, Othello feels threatened. And when a man like Othello feels threatened, he lashes out. So what does that have to do with me? You're Freddy's pet project. Look, with you gone, Freddy's whole reasoning for being here disappears. But I thought they brought him here to, like, modernize the marketing department or no, something No, that's like mostly that. for the media. Freddy's an A-plus marketing guy, but the real reason he was brought on was to solve the MP problem. Don't, don't, wait, wait, no, no. What? Oh. MP project? Oh, what, what is that? Don't get emotional. My point is, if you're gone, it means that Freddy failed to sell you to the fan base. And if Freddy failed, that means that Phil failed. And if Phil failed, somebody's going to pay for that. It's not going to be Phil. Look, look, just... Right now, Othello's trying to consolidate his power. I mean, think about it. With Freddy out of the picture, that's just one less person who can question Othello's way of doing things. What are you thinking? If he wants to trade me, let him trade me. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. If the fans don't want me, my own organization doesn't want me. Why am I even here? You don't mean that. No, I do. 
How many times am I to get told that I'm not wanted before I take the hint? Look, it's MP, not... I know that this is a hard pill to swallow, but you're looking at this the wrong then way. How should yeah. I be looking at it, Ricky? How? As, as one man's opinion who's out of touch on the modern NBA player trying to desperately save his job. One yeah. man, an entire city. What is the difference no, in no, this no, case? No, no, no. The fans are the fans, and you know you are well on your way to winning them over. Winning cures everything. Remember that. And what about Othello? Okay, yeah, that, that situation is a little trickier to navigate, but you're not powerless here. Okay. So tell me, what power do I have in this situation? You can fight back. Look, if Othello's the only one trying to ship you off, then he's creating a you versus him situation. Okay. Make it so he has to leave, not you. And how do we do that then? There are ways. Yeah. See this? This is a PR problem. Othello wants to trade you? Fine. We're gonna make sure that everybody knows that he's doing that out of spite and paranoia, not for the good of the team. If we can make your case persuasively, we can get the press on your side. Mm -hmm. And once national press starts calling for a GM's job, very rare that they survive. You know what, guys? I appreciate all the fun little capers you have planned for me. But like I said, I'm good. Wait, if they want to trade me, let them trade me. No, MP, think let about this. Let them trade me. MP, wait! What? We have a date tonight, remember? Listen, Mina, city I'm View. I'm not in the mood for City View right now. Okay, I get it, but I just think it would be good for you to take your mind off all this for a second. Fine. But I just want to be alone right now. Okay, understandable. Why don't we just meet up there after the game? That's fine. Hey, we're gonna get through this, okay? I love you. I love you too.